Yo guys, what's going on? It's Adam, and we are back with Dark Devotion. So we are exactly where we left off. We are in the Ancient Dungeon, the very first um, sort of level that we're going to explore here. And uh, we've got a quest to kill some enemies that are falling from the ceilings. And uh, yeah, looks like we're going to uh, actually have a couple different paths that we can take here. Um, we'll sort of check the map as we go along and uh, see what we can do. So let's avoid this first trap. And checking below so we can see a very bloody spike pit. We definitely want to avoid that. So I think we could actually run off. I want to be safe and go ahead and roll off. Oh, <laughs> and actually almost went right back into it. Okay, here's an enemy. That is much more dangerous than the very first enemies we encountered. Oh, hello, sir. We should make much more use of the shield. like we're still doing about 25 26 damage per swipe here there he is okay so that enemy is down and looks like he's dropped a ghoul's face piece sweet so we can also replace I guess our idol it's called yeah the mortuary idol um, that determines how many health points that we have now it also can determine what different um, attributes we acquire throughout the the playthrough um, and again, this resets every time we die. So if I see a new one that has more health points, um, and as long as it doesn't give me some strange curse, I'm going to pick it up. So it looks like this gives me three of three health points. Um, and it also helps my stun crits and my stam regen a little bit. Um, yeah, a smelly mask made of leather straps and crooked nails. Let's go ahead and pick that up. So there we go. We've got three health points now. Um, okay, it looks like we've got... Ah, a big uh, spike pit with a platform that we cannot reach right now. Um, somebody important is over there, I guess. Let's climb up. Okay, here's a kind of a moving trap. Definitely want to avoid that. Get some pieces of armor. Um, you know what? Yeah, we've got cost 20 to open this door, and we've got 60 faith right now. Let's go ahead and open that up. There we go. So we could either hit square to open that, uh, or flip that switch, but I always like to just attack these. It's much more fun. Dodge through just in case. I'm just going to go ahead and check the rest up here. Um, we did see the, uh, the text that says a platform is now moving after hitting the switch. Let's see. Looks like it is not that platform. So let's go down further. Here we go. There's got to be something down here moving. There it is. There's the platform. So if you did see that attack, we actually missed. So as I mentioned, even if you hit an enemy right in the face, there's a chance... Ooh! There's a chance that you miss. Okay, so we took a hit there. Uh, looks like we got another piece of armor though, so we'll actually go ahead and use that. And we can take two more hits. Uh, just making sure I can't smash those boxes. Let's see where this platform leads. Very carefully hop on. Okay. So this is going to be the second path. So right now we could either go up. Um, or we could take the path below. I think there's no real reason to do either or right now. But um, there was somebody else that we should talk to up above. So let's do that. So here's the other path. And here's this guy. So let's talk to him real quick. This is the altar of redemption, my child. Come back here to pray if you make a serious mistake. So I guess maybe I won't give too much away right now, but this isn't exactly what we think uh, it is. So <laughs> it might grant you absolution. It might. Uh, don't forget, however, that everything has a price. Theft gets you the whip, adultery gets you hung, and perjury leads to ab uh, abnegation. <laughs> Sorry, words are tough today. Um, okay, so we actually cannot interact with this right now, so we'll go ahead and leave it. Um, if you notice on the map, we've got a couple of icons here, um, and we do have a legend. So the question mark uh, on that plate there is an ancient tablet. Um, well, actually, I'll actually explain those as we go along, but um, we also have a praying altar. 
Um, and neither of those are accessible right now because this wall is in the way. You'll notice as I'm standing next to it, it actually glows yellow. That means we can interact with it somehow, but we don't have something um, that can actually uh, remove this wall. So uh, our only choice is to either go up or down. I'm randomly going to go up. So let's see where this takes us. So we can see right here we've actually taken the upper path. Uh, in this room there are a couple of prayer, uh, praying altars that we can access and only one exit so we don't have to be too careful with our choices here. Uh, healing statue, yeah, let's go ahead and top off the health. I really love that sound effect when you pray. It's just, it's so nice. <laughs> uh, looks like we've got a lever here to hit. Got a moving, oh, platform, hello there. So these things can hit you. Uh. Oh, I thought we would be guarded. Uh, actually, I think our shield did protect us. Yeah, we didn't lose any health. So <laughs> looks like we're looks like we're still doing all right. Um, okay, so we could fall down here. I don't know if there's a way to get back to this section. So I will go ahead and get on the platform. Oh, are we? Are we not moving this? Oh, do we? Are we glitching? I believe this should actually move. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, I don't know why that doesn't actually move. It definitely came up. Maybe we deactivated it by going forward? I don't know. Because we have no choice now but to hop down here. Here's another trap above us. Ah, here's a new enemy. So these guys, yes, are very dangerous. <laughs> they will shoot you from range. If you get close, they'll try to stab you quickly and hop away. Like so. And he is... Oh, he is just out of reach here. Okay. This is what I love about going back through the game. Um, I am no longer a powerhouse. I can just steamroll through a lot of stuff. I'm given this sort of limited gear. And every enemy is hard again. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and hop down here. Looks relatively safe. Got one enemy here to contend with. Hello, sir. So he can jump. I don't want to go too far away. There's the jump. Try to use the shield more here. Oh, we ran out of stamina real quick. Whew, this is... This is getting rough. Alright, let's... Let's get away, regain all of our stamina, all right, and then head back in. Ah, there it is, the final blow. <laughs> and he drops for us a surgical device. Cures a disease, but hurts you. So yeah, if we really get desperate, if we really need to get rid of a disease uh, or a curse, we can actually use that, but it will take either one armor or one health point away from us. Um, right now it looks like the only curse that we have is a minus 0.5 stamina regen. And with so few hit points, I don't think I actually want to use this yet until we get maybe a healing item or find a healing statue. Here we go. So this guy dropped for us a Feeble One's Cloak. Yeah, it's got two of two armor points. Uh, it's one more than we currently have, and it looks like it gives us better attributes. Let's go ahead and use that. Ah, and it actually does change the gear a little bit. Let's see, we've got kind of a cape. There's not a lot in the way of fashion souls that you could do with this, or fashion mm, devotion, let's call it. But we've slightly changed the color of our, sort of our tunic and the cape here, so we'll go ahead and use that. Huh. So it looks like, oh, there is, yeah, there is another ladder here before we take that door. I want to see if there's a way to actually get back to that platform that was moving. Okay, so here's another dead Templar. The Inquisition threw me here. I've been one of them since childhood. This does not make any sense. There are dead bodies everywhere. I'm frightened. All I did was fall in love with the wrong person. Damn. Okay. So did this guy maybe... I mean, we heard the punishment earlier for maybe like adultery. Is this guy... Is this guy doing some of that sinning? Creating some sands. Alright, looks like there's an area up ahead we cannot access. 
So our only choice is to move forward through this door. So yeah, as we go along, um, of course we can always come back. We just can't access each individual room. We'll have to actually start from the beginning. Or there is a way to fast travel. And as soon as that pops up... <laughs> speaking of, as soon as that pops up, we'll talk about it. Here is a teleportation altar. So we're going to go ahead and activate this. These have the... Yeah, you can see in the upper left hand corner the teleporter icon, it's sort of that, uh, it's got the yellow star in the middle of it. Um, we can now teleport to this exact location. And whichever one is active will have the sort of shiny rotating triangle going around here. So that is where we are currently able to teleport to. Um, it looks like we've got another wall that we could go through. Um, still no means to go through it. Pray to the statue. This will allow you to find your way back here from the shelter. Thank you kindly. Here's another uh, Templar. Ah, here we go. So here is a new weapon, the Smith Greatsword. Uh, definitely does more damage than our Rusty Gladius, but instead of actually replacing it, we can actually hold two sets of weapons. You saw in the first episode that we had sort of sword and shield set up and also a bow. Um, we have our second loadout option here, so I don't have to drop my first sword. And there it is, new entry in the forge. So picking up certain weapons in the game will actually make them available at your blacksmith um, in the forge. So looks like we were just given access to this. Um, definitely a lot slower, but the range is longer. And I believe this is a two-handed weapon. Yes, so we now have the parry option. So if I time that right, I can actually parry an enemy attack instead of blocking it with a shield. Ooh, there's a ledge I don't want to fall off right now. Oh, this sword is very slow. Oh, and, <laughs> and there it is right there. That, that is the danger of this game. You can get pushed off a ledge, and now there was so much that we could have explored up there. We're definitely going to have to come back. So I'm going to try to remember. That's easy, actually. There's uh, the teleportation right there. You know what? I might actually go ahead and try to... I might just decide to die and teleport right back in here. Um, so there's definitely some other things I wanted to, to check out along the way. Um, so let's go ahead. I'll, I'll just cut right back to this point. So I'll see you guys very shortly. And we'll take out that uh, arrow firing bastard who just knocked us all the way down the ledge. <laughs> all right. So I figured I'd also just go ahead and show this here. Um, but let's, uh, let's remove these guys. We're going to get ballsy here. I want more damage, and I still have the option to parry. Um, so I'll take the, the two-handed sword. You'll notice if I try to equip the shield with that two-handed sword, it gets removed. So no option to do both a, uh, a shield and a sword. I also cannot just switch to my secondary setup here and then try to go back in and equip a second set of weapons. You only get one loadout, so choose carefully. All right, what I wanted to show here real quick was this. This was closed before, but now the teleportation altar has opened. So, let's go on ahead. And here we are. We come through this little door right next to the teleportation altar. And we are right where we left off, more or less. <laughs> All right, here's that chest. Let's try to take this guy out. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and... Utilize more of the dodge here instead of trying to parry anything. There it is. Oh, and he dropped a bow for us. Very nice. So we can pick up a wooden bow. Solid. Check out the chest here. Ah, this is what we need to access those uh, sort of flimsy uh, parts of the wall where they're very broken. Um, so godless idols cast in explosions. You can either use this on enemies to do some damage. Or you can actually use this to take out those weak parts of the walls. So this time, let's drop down carefully. Get a piece of armor here. Ooh, I don't know if we can make that. We're going to try, though. Oh, yeah, just made it. This guy's going to be tough. Okay, try to get a parry in here. Nope, a little too early. So we can still block. We can st oof. We can still block his attacks. Um, 
if we parry late, but if we parry early enough, it actually does not, I don't think it leaves them open to any sort of attack, uh, but sometimes after a parry, a successful parry, you can get in uh, a critical attack. Um, okay, so this is definitely worth coming back for. So we can see on the map we have one of those ancient tablets uh, in the room, and here it is. This looks like, yes, more faith. We discovered ancient knowledge, more faith. So our faith just went up from 60 to 75. And there is a hidden door that takes faith to open. I'm actually not sure how we can get there. Hmm. Um, all right, so we've got two options. We can go down there, um, or what I would like to do is actually explore a bit further and see what's down here. Sometimes these ladders are cut short, which means if you fall down, of course, you have no option to go back up. It looks like we can return from this one, so we'll go ahead and explore down here. Oh! Alright, one enemy down. I don't know if I pointed that out yet, but that guy right there definitely just fell from the ceiling. So those are the enemies that we want to take out to fill our quest. It looks like we've got two of six currently taken down. We need four more. Let's try to parry this fool. Nope, too early. There it is. Uh, okay, it looks like it just knocks them back a bit. It's funny because I played the crap out of this game. Um, but I never noticed if that actually affects anything else other than just, yeah, <laughs> knocking them back. Um, looks like this guy dropped another bow, but it does less damage. Um, although it does have a much lower miss percentage. You know what, we're going to stick with the one we have. Ooh, War Axe, you know what? Hmm, 20 to 50 damage. Let's see how much slower or faster it is. That is much faster, and it does similar damage with a higher crit percentage uh, than our Smith's Greatsword. And actually... If I hit the parry button, there's no action, which means if I find a shield, I can actually equip that. This is a one-handed weapon. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try the axe. See how that does. Uh, healing statue, we actually cannot use this. Um, so we'll go ahead and pass on... Uh, oh my goodness, alright. <laughs> so that is a, a death pit below us. Let's make sure we drop safely to the right. This guy doesn't want anything to do with us. Okay, two hits. We'll take them out. Looks like that box is not breakable. Um, yeah, our only option now is to actually continue forward. And I'm guessing since we took the the ladder down, this is the path that we're going to go through right here. Um, this path I actually opened up just to die in that next area so I could teleport back into this room. So we'll actually have to explore that another time. Let's carry on. Okay, so we are still in the ancient dungeon. We still have three more of those enemies to kill, and it looks like we've got two praying altars in this room. Let's see if we can't find them. Ah, this platform's moving. There's a button on that part of the wall. Hello, sir. Are you here to help me fulfill my quest? Thank you kindly. Piece of armor, I'll take that. Um, looks like the platform is still there, which is good. I guess, ah, I guess they'll actually hitting the lever might activate it. Oof. Actually, I don't think we took any damage right there. I think the animation we saw was me running out of stamina, potentially. Okay, so he dropped the sharp claws. Uh, you know, I'll go ahead and showcase. Just, uh... If anybody wants to see. Very cool weapon. Just an alteration of, of using fist. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and stick with the axe. Also, from time to time, I might randomly just pick up a weapon real quick and switch it right back out because, um, as as we did with that uh, the, the greatsword, the blacksmith's greatsword, some of them do get added to your forge if you just pick them up. You don't have to use them. You just have to find them. Um, and I think those uh, those are the blueprints, basically. So if you pick up the blueprints, you can actually access them from the forge anytime. Ah, here we go. A bright torch. 
Um, we can definitely put this in the shield slot. So let's go ahead and pick that up. That is so much better. <laughs> we can actually see things. And with the torch, we have a minus 10% miss attribute. Brilliant. Let's go ahead and activate the platform. So I think, yeah, on the way down, we definitely hit a button right there. Let's see. Is there another button? I didn't see another button. Okay. Ceiling enemy. Try to gauge the hitbox with this weapon here. These guys stun easily, actually. As long as they're not attacking first, I can just go ahead and swing for the fences. There it is. Quest completed. Six of six done, so we will definitely check back in with our, let's call him the quest master, when we get back to the shelter. Okay. Oh, so we're going to miss. Let's go ahead and activate the platform again. There's a button. Timed it perfectly. I'm not even sure what these buttons do. I remember seeing those uh, my first time around, but I don't think I actually hit them. Oh my goodness. All these enemies here to fulfill the quest we've already finished. <laughs> nice critical, critical hit there. Pick up another piece of armor. So now you can see we've got a full item bar down here. Um, we are pretty well stocked. Uh, let's see what we have here. Chipped sword. I don't think I want that, but we'll pick it up and put it down just in case it could be added to the forge. Okay. Healing statue. We can't use that because our hit points are full. Alright, let's get back on this button right there. Any other buttons? No. What did that do? I don't even know if that did anything. We definitely just randomly, I think, um, got a, a curse. <laughs> your faith impacts your stamina regen. Suffocating faith. Well, that sucks. So, like, if we have too much faith, we're gonna we're gonna have less stamina. I can feel the weight of God on my shoulders. I have neglected praying too much. All right, seems like we have to pray. Altar of the Magnanimous. Well, since we want to get rid of some faith, I guess. Anyways. Let's do this. So this guy, yeah, will oftentimes drop a slew of items for us. Um, and you know what? Since we are cursed, uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that with... That's this guy, right? Yeah, surgical device. Let's use that. So we'll take some damage, but we can go ahead and top back off with our piece of armor. I want this, a poultice. That's our healing item here. So definitely want to pick that guy up. Um... You know, I don't know if I want to refill stamina at any time. This is actually only for when you run out. I'll show it real quick. So once you run out, you can use that item, and it just, for a very short period of time, keeps your stamina refilled. Um, but it's actually, it's not that useful. So I'll go ahead and swap out for the black-coated needles. And one more godless idol. Oh, here's a button. Okay. I think I heard a door or something. Is it over here? Yes, here it is right here. So this is the door that just opened. There were too many of them. Little corpses, gray bodies, like the devil's hands. You have no idea how fast it ends. Rising from the ground, falling from the ceiling. Dot, 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 unreadable. Ugh, and it looks like just from reading this guy's note, we've been cursed again. That is the, that is the risk you run when you try to explore and see everything. All right, unholy texts. You no longer gain faith. Well, that sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. These pages have been soaked in darkness itself. I feel God abandoning me. And in this chest, ooh, armor of the woods. Heck yeah, three of four armor pieces will be given to us. Uh, a little bit lower stats, but I think I want the extra hits here. Uh, light and intricate, this feather or leather braided armor is of exceptional quality. Oh, look at that. Looks cool. And enemies cannot detect you? What? I have not seen this entire... Uh, this armor set in the entire game. This is sweet. 
Oh, I wish we could have gotten the blueprints for that so it, sh it would show up in the forge. We are testing the crap out of this, so enemies cannot detect us. Um, I'm going to be checking for those weak walls, by the way, because we do have three of the, what are they called again? Godless idols, yeah. By the way, if I, I don't know if anybody else is appreciating this so far, but the, the environment looks so incredible in this game. For a 2D, very pixel arty game, this is, I love the look. Um, Alright, so it looks like we can only drop down here. And these people are praying to, to something. We cannot interact with them, so let's go ahead and hit them. Take them out. Put them out of their misery. Uh, looks like we've got somebody over here standing next to a big chest. Pray to the statue. This will allow you to find your way back here from the shelter. Okay, so it looks like we've got another teleportation altar in the room. Actually, that's the only thing in the room, as well as only one exit. So let's activate that. And he will drop something for us. Grants you faith. Mm, this is where it's going to get tricky. Because we already have a full item bar. And here's another chest <laughs> with even more items. Um, so this is what we're going to do. If I use, for example, a needle, that's actually only applicable to one room. As soon as I leave this room, it all goes away. Um, so we're going to actually activate this needle. Um, to turn us violent for more stun and damage crit. Um, here's a white coated needle that makes you more precise for one room. So that should actually bump up our, um, or lower rather, our miss percentage. And there it is, minus 20% miss. Um, I will also pick up the holy pages here that grants us faith. That's basically just, as you probably would have guessed, refilling our faith bar a little bit. And lastly, an unstable sphere. Cast a holy explosion. So this is like the godless idol. Um, you could use it on an enemy, but instead of actually leaving something on the ground to blow up, as you will see eventually, <laughs> this is actually more of an instantaneous sort of a, an area of effect. If you play Dark Souls, it's kind of like Wrath of the Gods. Um, and I will demonstrate that on this enemy. Hello, sir. So lots of damage there. Ooh. I forgot how fast this guy is. I love that animation. When you take those enemies down, they just kind of rip themselves apart. No idea why that happens. Uh, but he dropped for us the Bludgeon of Bones. Okay. I think I still want to keep the bow just in case we need some ranged options. We already have... Let's see, is this a two-handed? It is a two-handed, so I would lose my torch. Um, but let's pick it up for the blueprint possibility. No. Yeah, I'm going to keep the axe and the torch. Uh, so when I use that holy, uh, or unholy sphere, whatever it's called, um, actually hit the switch. So let's see if that activated anything. Kind of go over here and take a peek. Alright, we've got an enemy down there. A ladder. Here, that, so this one drops off. So once we go down here, there's no coming back. Ooh, I do see one of those weak walls that has several cracks in it, so we're going to want to explore that. And let's see... Oof, this is going to be bad. Oh, I'm running out of stamina so fast. Uh, use an armor piece. You know what, let's go ahead and take this one out first. There it is. Oh, he just dropped a great item for us. I don't want to go too far over there. Um, because there was that other enemy I don't want to pull. Let's have a battle of the bows, sir. I'll let him fire first. Oh, dodged right into it. And he's done. Okay. I don't know how close I can get. Oh, actually. Oh. Okay. So that guy. Where did I see that enemy? I don't know, maybe I saw the wrong enemy. Uh, let's check this bow. The smith's forgotten. Seems like it has kind of at least lesser damage uh, than our current bow. But there it is for the blueprints. We'll pick it up just in case. And it has been added to the forge. Alright, so this right here is a rune. Uh, so runes can be dropped by enemies randomly as well, or you get them from the different uh, praying statues. Looks like this one um, is Dark Rune 1, gives us damage and crit stun of 
uh, boost. So let's go ahead and pick that up. Holding this lethal stone makes you feel deadlier. So you can see it just kind of gets put in this slot right here. Um, and that is now tied to our axe. All right, I'm gonna drop this idol, blow up that wall. It looks like it was just hiding a switch. So a door has opened. Let's see what we have here. Are any of these breakable? Yes. <laughs> Glad I checked. We've got two healing items right there. Um, okay, let's take a peek. I don't know. Looks like I don't know where I'm going to fall. I'll try to stay to the left. Oh, that's the open door. Hello, sir. How's it going? Oh, shit. There's a second one in there. Let's not go too far. Shit. We are in a world of hurt, I think. Okay, one down. Thank you. Oh, and it looks like he dropped his mask. We know that that gives us three hit points. I'm going to try to pick that up. There it is. Let's go ahead and use our armor piece as well. All right, we're pretty well equipped right now. Oh, and there's our rune. So after hitting an enemy, yes, so many times in a row, the rune gets activated. And as long as our weapon is glowing, we will have, there it was, that increased uh, damage and crit st uh, stun percentage. Um, so that was fantastic. We took that guy out a lot faster than we normally would have. Uh, looks like we had another switch here and opened another door. Look how gruesome this is. I mean, this this whole dungeon is just like... I'm glad this is the first time we're seeing this place. Let's put it that way. Uh, he dropped for us the Saber of Sorrows. That's a one-handed weapon. Um, although, I'm going to stick with our axe. But again, let's pick that up real quick. Just in case. You'll notice the rune actually is tied to the axe. So if I pick up this Saber, um, that slot there is still empty for the rune. So definitely want to pick up the axe. Okay, another... Ooh, I did not even see that trap. Nice two hits. Take down that guy. He dropped for us another poultice. Thank you very much. Oh, there's a the door that opened. Let's go ahead and check that out. Traveler. I think I have found something. Here behind the door, I can feel it. I was able to unlock every mechanism so far. There is only one left. This cursed door is blocking the path. I must have missed a lever or something of the sort. I saw a weak wall earlier, but didn't, I did not pay it any mind. I am now convinced this was the last piece of the puzzle. Ah, I cannot go back now. If you ever read this, Traveler, here's some advice. Keep your eyes open. Treasure is everywhere if you know where to look. S. I wonder who S is. This could be that Sorrel. We, we heard the name Sorrel earlier. Um... Oh, but we actually, yeah, we actually did it. Was that, I forget, maybe we dropped um, the godless idol and that opened up the other door? Or maybe we just hit the right levers. Okay, so this chest has the rune of recovery one, which gives us a higher stamina regen. Um, I want to keep this uh, dark rune on my axe. You'll notice if I switch to my bow and arrow, I actually don't have the option to equip a rune. So um, we're actually just going to... Leave that there on the ground. Um, I believe we didn't look down here, so instead of taking... Ooh, actually... The door out of here is going to be at the very bottom of the level. And since we're not there yet, I'm willing to bet, especially because we had to do some fancy tricks to get in here, this is just a room... This might be a secret room. Let's go ahead and check it out. Yes, I'm correct. You can find these... Uh, hidden rooms. Oftentimes there's very important items in here and we definitely want to go into these rooms. Um, so the Cabinet of Curiosities. Uh, normally you cannot go back into a door that you've come through, but in the case of secret rooms we can totally do that. And it was worth it. Here we go. An ancient tablet. And this looks like the Faith tablet. Yes, more Faith. Sweet. Is this a note we can read here? No. Um... But we do have a button, and if you didn't see it, there was a door here, all the way to the left. And it looks like we have a note. Letter from a diecaster. Last time we lost a lot of gold because of Ezekiel. Uh, make sure that the beast dies during tonight's show, or we will taste Mac Mactilda's? Mactilda's whip. Well, I don't know who they are, but uh, 
Sounds all right. Ooh, here we go. So this is a spell book. We can actually use faith. As you see, it takes a faith cost of 10 to cast spells. So let's go ahead and pick that up. It will replace our torch. So if we have a one-handed weapon, we can still use it. No effect. And to be honest, I have no idea what this is for. Genesis 1, you have the power to forgive these corpses. Will you be merciful? I, I don't know. I kind of... You know what? I love the torch. I'm going to keep it. This is kind of a ballsy thing to do, but I'm going to drop the bow. Because um, we can always pick a bow back up at the forge if and when we die. <laughs> Not if, but when. <laughs> um, but that is all for the secret room. So let's carry on. Oh, right. I forget when you actually leave and re-enter, the enemies do respawn. So we're just going to go ahead and say bye Felicia to those guys. <laughs> And come on down. And here it is. Um, this is actually perfect to reach this door now. Um, I think I'm going to save the next uh, uh, areas for the next episode because we are running a bit long here. So, gloomy cell block. Yeah, I'll take a peek at the map right here. Look at from where we started. This is already starting to open up a lot. So, I'm excited to, to get into these new territories and, and keep diving uh, deeper into the... Uh, into the dungeon here. It looks like we are still in the ancient dungeon. You can see that at the top middle. Um, and we are in a new area called the Gloomy Cell Block. So we're going to explore that next time. So if you're watching this with me uh, and exploring with me, thanks so much. And I'll catch you in the next one. Yeah, buddy.